Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and today I'm going to be painting a scene with Copic Various Ink refill bottles. It's very similar to what you can do with alcohol inks. And I'm going to be using Swale by Ellen Hudson, and I'm also using my tonic glass mat. I thought I'd lift it up and show you. It's quite heavy, but it's pretty nice. I seem to like it. Um, other than the fact that it's got the grid, I kind of not real happy with it, but I'm trying to get used to it and see if I like it or not in the long run. But anyway, using Yupo, I played so much with my white Yupo that I used it all up. So this is actually the translucent Yupo, but you can see it's not see-through. I thought it was going to be more see-through and it's it still works just fine. So I am putting a couple drops of B24, B13, and B00 at the top. And I got this whole idea, this whole notion for this card when I was playing and just kind of letting the color move around. There were some things that I saw that I'll point out as I go. Because I did some lifting of the paper to let things drip down and I went, ooh, that looks kind of like water. And I've been on such a kick about doing underwater scenes from my underwater scenes class over at art-classes.com. If you have not seen it and you like doing whales and mermaids and things, that class has been a blast. Everybody's been having so much fun making underwater cards. But I thought I wanted to do a cavern to go with my whales. My whales can be swimming through it and I've got all this wonderful water cascading down from the top. I've sprayed it with some colorless blender in a mini mister. Be careful not to inhale any alcohol that you put in these blenders. It can actually hurt you, so keep your windows open. This is a great project for summertime. Dabbed off a little off the bottom so that I don't have a pool of it. And right now it's super shiny, super soaky wet. And you can see just how shiny it is. And then I let it dry for a minute. So it's still damp, but it's not goopy, goopy, goopy wet. I tried it with one that was goopy, goopy wet and all of my coral bled all the way up the page. So you don't want it super goopy. And know that it's gonna spread out. So don't do too much until you're confident of knowing how far these things spread. So I'm using some RV13, some Y17, of course, and then I'll throw in a little V04 just to have some fun colors of coral down here at the bottom. They kind of look like coral blooms. That's what inspired me to do this. I thought I could make a whole, you know, bottom end of the entire card that would look like it's got coral. My paper is cut, it's, it's a quarter sheet of that Yupo, which is nine by 12. So the actual piece is six by four and a half. So I'm going to be able to cut off those outside edges. So if you get some collection of color around the outside, don't sweat it because you'll be trimming that off anyway when you finish your, your piece. But very cool, very fun type of an idea. So once it was good and dry and I could actually touch it and do things with it, I started in with my colorless blender. Now I have two colorless blenders. One is super goopy full and that's this one. And I have another one that's not as full, but I used the full one because I wanted some of this bleeding to happen. So I wanted to put down dots and, and let them kind of mush out. But I had to be careful to scribble off on the side so that I didn't have like a giant goop of ink that came right off of it or color blender that came right off of it instantly because I didn't want to wash everything away. I just wanted to add a little bit of detail to the coral so you, just to give it a little bit more flavor. You could do all kinds of things with it. I'm going to be making some flower things with this because I think that would be really fun to turn these into to flowers that way. But I also wanted to do something with my whale. So I was kind of playing around here, worried that I was going to mess it up to see what would happen if I use my colorless blender on the whale, keeping away from the lines because I don't want to wash those off and uh, that sort of thing. But it seemed to work. It lightened the color. It didn't make it disappear, but it lightened the color inside the whale. So he looks like he's got a little distance from the back. The ink that I used here was Lawn Fawn's Jet Black ink. And I did try something like this with Versafine and the ink just kind of went mushed off with your finger. This ink did stay put. So that was nice to know. And there we go. I just kind of cleaned up that, that whale quite nicely and that worked. You can get as elaborate or inelaborate as you want with all of the little details you put into the coral. Really depends on the colors you use and how they kind of mush out because every single one is going to be different because of how the ink goes on here. 
So I'm gonna add some bubbles with my colorless blender and then I'll do a little spritzing to add a little bit more detail on them as well. So very cool, very fun kind of technique. And one thing I wanted to mention, I've had people ask me very recently um, if I could send them card X that I had made on my video. And I thought I'd address that since I've got a second chat here. And I don't just send out cards to people just because they asked for them. So that doesn't help. I do send a ton of cards to my patrons. And patrons are people who support me with like a dollar or three dollars or five dollars or twenty dollars or whatever they want a month. The higher end patrons will actually get a painting. And I did just send out a huge batch of paintings to people and sent out cards to a bunch of others. So if you're interested in more on that, you can go to patreon.com slash sandyallnock, link in the doobly-doo, and you can see more about that and potentially get a card or a painting or something like that from me. So I send those as great appreciations to my patrons. So I've mounted these onto white cardstock and then popped that onto my card base with dimensional adhesive so that I'd have that nice white underneath of the image since it is the translucent paper. And there you go, all done, super easy, super quick. I hope you try this out because it's way too much fun. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Have an awesome day. Go make something beautiful. Click the like button and be sure to subscribe. Bye-bye.